All right. Ooh. Hi everyone, Daniel here. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Biology in 2019 from Western Washington University. I had a great time there, and in this video, I wanted to talk about whether a Bachelor's of Science or really just a major in biology is really worth it. Coming from two perspectives, one is the job perspective, and then two is the actual degree experience perspective. So getting into the degree experience quick, or uh, first, so I really enjoyed my time in the biology program a lot. So there were some classes I didn't love. Maybe it's because of the way they were taught or maybe because at the time it just wasn't clicking with me for some reason. But other classes I really loved and these tended to be upper division specialized courses in things that I was most interested in. So I emphasized or I chose an emphasis in ecology, evolution and organismal biology. It was kind of the closest thing my school had to a, zool uh, to a zoology degree. And I was super, because I love animals, so I was super happy to get as close to that as possible. And some of those upper division courses were super cool. Like I took a class on marine mammal biology. And one thing that's cool about Western is that it's right on the ocean. So we would literally just go out after class and be like, or during class be like, hey, let's go look at whales. Like, whoa, like just go out on the university boats and do that. My favorite class in my biology degree was my undergraduate entomology course. Entomology is the zoological study of insects and their arthropod relatives. So for that class, we did a lot of bug stuff. We would actually go out and collect bugs. We had to collect a family, or not family, we had to collect a collection of 60 families of insects. And that was actually a lot more difficult than it might seem. So there are certain families of insects that have like multiple thousands of species of different bugs and like for example there's a family called Carabidae which is a family of beetles and there's actually 40,000 different species in that family so theoretically you could catch 40,000 different species of insects and only have one family so it's not as easy to do as it sounds to catch 60 families and that was actually my favorite part of the course making that collection a true natural history collection of insects while learning more about insect taxonomy, phylogeny, so really enjoyed that. I would say that there, yeah, were some classes I didn't like love a ton, but I would like them a lot more now, now that I've learned more about the concepts. Like, for example, I took genetics uh, in undergrad and I didn't like love it, but now I like genetics a lot more. I understand way more about it. I also took organic chemistry, a few of those, and I didn't love, love them, but now I understand and appreciate those more, but at the time, yeah, it just wasn't my favorite. So there were plenty of courses I didn't like super love, but the ones that I did love made it way worth it. Another thing that I wanna know on experience is that one of the cool things about studying biology at a university, really whatever university, as long as they have some resources, is that you can have access to like really cool specialized equipment you can't easily access anywhere else. For example, even when it comes to just looking at microbiology specimens, it's not easy to have just a really quality compound and dissecting microscope on hand. So the fact that universities have both and sometimes like a lot of both and other fancy stuff makes it really cool. For example, a number of universities around the United States have a scanning electron microscope. So if you wanna get pictures of like a super tiny microorganism, that are super high quality, that's the way to go. And it's not easy to spend like multiple tens of thousands of dollars on that just to have at home. So having access to that stuff makes it really nice. And that's one of the unique things about doing a biology degree or a biology minor or anything. That's so cool. And you end up, another thing is you end up meeting really cool people who are passionate about the scientific study of life. Uh, whether you meet professors or fellow students, Either way, uh, these people have chosen to invest years of their life potentially into studying this stuff. So it's just gonna be a cool group of people to be. So that's some notes that I wanted to make on the experience side of things. I could talk about it a lot more, but I think that's, that's good for now. In terms of job stuff, this is really important because you're going to college partially for 
you know, well, we're all different in terms of our goals, right? But some general goals of college students are one, do something interesting to them and two, get a good job afterwards. So what are the job prospects for a biology major? Biology is interesting because unlike some of the other degrees in STEM fields, so STEM as we know being science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, biology, like some of the other natural sciences, just isn't as good of providing people with job opportunities as all the other STEM disciplines. I think Shane Hummus on his videos makes a good point that among the STEM disciplines, all the sciences are not nearly as good in terms of job prospects as the rest of the STEM. So like TEM, technology, engineering, math. And I think biology is definitely a victim of this too because, or especially because they just aren't a ton of jobs out there, specifically for people who have a biology major. I think a lot of the biology majors I know end up not really doing anything biological related, but still are able to use some of the skills they developed, like quantitative reasoning or writing to be able to do what they're doing now. But a lot of the jobs end up being things like project coordinator, quality control analyst, things that are useful to have some scientific background and some sort of quantitative and writing background, but aren't actually purely biological. To do purely biological stuff, working with organisms, really I think most of the jobs out there, at least in my experience, are gonna require at least a master's. And really the best jobs that are most interesting for people who are interested in research or even really teaching biology are gonna require a PhD. So that's something to definitely keep in mind when you're considering whether to major in biology, or if you're currently a major, maybe considering if you would like to pursue grad school or not. So um, yeah, there's, yeah, I wish someone had told me this a little bit because like, it's interesting for me, I actually chose the majors I did, for, not for a job, but just cause like I was super interested. I did biology and philosophy. I'm still in school now, not really for a job, just for fun. I love school, I love learning. But, so I guess that that hasn't changed, but it's still nice to be aware of the job prospects. I'll note too, I actually was able to get a job after my biology degree, but I will say uh, that was after I had gone to grad school for about a year, uh, working toward a master's uh, in insect biology, entomology. So I was able to speak to that in my job interview. So I ended up working at 23andMe full time. I'll probably make a video about that experience. So that was cool, but even that wasn't like a scientific role. It helped to have the scientific background because I was still doing some science adjacent stuff, but it wasn't like a super purely biological role. My role is called regulatory affairs coordinator. And I really enjoyed my time there. Like I had no plans to leave 23andMe. I ended up getting laid off along with like a, a ch- huge chunk of the rest of the company, unfortunately. But um, I only mentioned that though, just to say like, yeah, from my, from my experience, I can say it is possible to get a job with a biology major. I can't, I, I don't know how much of my grad school experience helped with that, but it is possible. So I just wanted to make a note of that. But all that to say, yeah, the job prospects are not super good for biology majors in biology specific things. One cool thing is that you'll be able to apply to a bunch of different ranges of things that range from project coordination, yeah, like I said, quality stuff, to you know, science communication. But keep in mind those degree those roles aren't generally gonna require a bachelor's in biology. Again, to do pure biological work, working with animals, working with bacteria, whatever interests you, really is going to require at least a master's and generally recommend doing a PhD for doing the most interesting work long term. Right now, I'm actually debating because I would like to go back into science uh, after I finish up the degrees I'm working on now to do either like entomology again or, you know, try to move into something more physical science based. But Whatever the case, I, I've realized that I do want to be a scientist and be a scholar and do that. But that, not, might, that might not be the right path for you, which is totally chill. So 
hope that's helpful in some way. I know I talked a lot about a few different things, but I just wanted to share my honest thoughts. I did not script this. I just wanted to open up about just some of my experience with my major and then thoughts on job prospects. But if you have any specific questions for me about my experience, or if you have any thoughts or comments you'd like to add, definitely I super, super welcome that and I respond to everything. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.